YouTube. So today I'm going to be doing a November recap. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of our finances, how it went in November, spending and all of that. So if you want to see how this video goes and just keep on watching. I'm not going to be sharing percentages in this video. I'm just going to be talking and sharing how I feel November went. In the month of November, my husband's season ended. He collected his last two paychecks were lower amounts, but thankfully what we were able to save throughout his season, it was able to cover bills for November and rent for December. We did sell our car. We actually did look at the website and they're actually selling it for more than what we got it for. So that is just insane. With that money, we were able to pay off what we owed on that car. We were also able to put a down payment towards a used truck, which is going to help my husband get into his own business. So it's very, very exciting. It's kind of a leap of faith as you can say it's something we've never done anything like this before so it's very very scary he did recently buy a trailer he basically has the basics to just kind of get started also with the money from selling our car we were able to pay off small debts and just a side note our credit scores went up 70 around 70 75 points which is so so exciting with the rest of the money applied it towards our bills so we were able to cover bills until february into march so we still have a bit of march to cover i would say we overspent this month but thankfully we have the money to pay back the credit cards it does take away time but my goal this month is to lessen spending and to kind of um, build back that time which i think is a pretty neat concept to kind of share and talk about because in a way it kind of opens your mind you've planned this far ahead to be financially covered and stable and if you want to keep it that way then you stay under budget keep within budget all of those things and if you don't you're gonna have to recover the time that you've used as for our disney trip this is very very exciting so in the month of november we were able to save a lot um, there was a lot of deals, Black Friday, cash back, just a whole bunch of things that came through in November that really came through. One neat hack that I was introduced to through my friends is the use of Cash App and their boosts. And particularly, Cash App does have a boost with Sam's Club. And Sam's Club does sell Disney cards already discounted. That was a neat very neat find because with Target, I was having issues with Target. Come to find out, it wasn't just me. A lot of other people have had these issues too. They notice that you're doing a lot of gift card spending. They kind of limit the number of gift cards you can buy. And I wasn't able to buy as much gift cards as I wanted. Thankfully, I didn't because I don't think I would have found out or even tried this Cash App Sounds Club thing. So for one $1,000 gift card, because each Disney gift card can only hold $1,000, so for one gift card, I was able to save $139.87. So that is Sam's Club and Cash App, as well as Rakuten. You spend at least $40, you would get $40 back, and they would also get $40. So I created an account, purchased a set of gift cards, and got $40 back. Saved $139.87, which is way more than what I would have saved at Target, being only at 5%. Then on the 24th of November, I bought a $1,000 gift card for $880 because they had their gift cards at $450, but then I also had use cash app with the boost so that brought it down to 880 and then i used rakuten at the same time i signed up my husband <laughs> so that we could use the 40 and i used his account to buy the gift cards my friend made a new account she bought the gift card i got 40 from her so i got back 58 dollars from rakuten for my husband's account and then for referrals i got 80 for my husband and my friend for using my code so in total for this thousand dollar gift card i saved 258 dollars which is great it's amazing i was able to pay off the trip and now our balance is at 446 dollars 49 we met with our friends this past weekend and we decided to do another day and so 
adding on that day was around $120 for all three of us because we already have a four day ticket, four day tickets. So turning it into a five day ticket package, it, you pay less in ticket prices the more you go. So now we have around 560 something left to pay off. We already have $500 in gift cards saved. Since adding on this extra day though, I wanted to wait to be able to cover that and then just pay it off. I'll be able to pay it off in this month, which is very, very exciting, but it's even exciting to let you guys know that we added on an extra day. Let's count our sinking funds. Amounts have definitely gone down. Okay, so we're gonna come into our first sinking funds binder <laughs> first we're gonna go through car maintenance now with car maintenance like i said my husband got a trailer he did have to get a new tire for the trailer so we did have to dip into this so having this is inaccurate right now the balance for car maintenance in our bank is 860 dollars and here we have 65 dollars so that would be 910, 920, 925. But I'm gonna take out the thousand and we are actually at 910, 920, 925. Emergency fund, we've definitely been dipping into her quite a bit. Currently have 120, 40, 50. So 150, I mean, it's still not bad. We used Christmas this month to go towards buying a gift card, buying one of the thousand dollar gift cards. We also used the extra money that we had to decorate. We bought a little Christmas tree and a few decorations, wrapping, paper, tags, all of that. So Christmas is currently empty. I do not plan to stuff it anymore for the rest of the year. BWB currently have $60 here. My daughter does have an appointment at the end of the month, so we will definitely have the needed 80 in here. Booms. She is at one, two, three, four. So she has four dollars. Terrace is at zero. Got a lot of new things this month to start his business, and he used his funds to help cover that. I don't have anything. What did I buy this month? Um, nothing um, important. Stuff I wanted. Date night, we have a ten dollar bill. Giving, we have nothing. Booms paving does have money though so we have 20 one two three four five so we have 25 dollars in here our five dollar challenge is at 40 car registration and bank deposit so let's come into our next binder here so for disney currently we have 15 dollars going towards our next gift card i was able to Kind of figure out how to use gift cards on the my disney app so whenever we do mobile order or anything like that we'll also be able to use gift cards i am planning to just use gift cards for the trip disney teens which would be food souvenirs all of that is at 15 and these gift cards are empty universal currently at 30 and this is going towards our tickets and then universal teens is at 15 and then travel is at 40 and i believe that is it for our sinking funds so we've definitely been using our sinking funds which i feel like is kind of exciting to see i know it's great to save but it's also really nice to have this money on the side and be able to use it for the purpose that we're saving it for. Hope you guys enjoyed this November recap. I know it was a little bit different, kind of a lot of talking, but I was just so excited to share how we are doing financially. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe because that would mean so much to me. If you wanna keep up with me elsewhere, I am on Instagram and TikTok at Modern Twines. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next one.